Hey guys, what's up? So it's K293 here with another tutorial on how to get an iOS 4 feature on a device that does not support iOS 4. Uh, the device I'll be using today is my first generation iPod Touch, as you can tell by the uh, rectangular Wi-Fi and the lack of a volume rocker. So I'm going to show you guys how to get it so that you can have your home your lock screen wallpaper as your home screen wallpaper. Now, as you guys know, uh, this feature was built natively into the iOS 4 operating system that Apple uh, released. But the thing is that this was only supported on certain devices, and that would be the third and fourth generation iPod Touch, as long uh, with the iPhone 3GS and the iPhone 4. Now you guys may know that the uh, second generation iPod Touch and the 3G iPhone uh, also has iOS 4 but does not have this wallpaper feature and that's mainly because Apple deemed them not you know they're not qualified to run it at a smooth uh, operating speed so uh, I'm going to show you guys how to get this wallpaper on a device that does not support iOS 4 at all if you have a second generation iPod touch or an iPhone 3G uh, there's a different easier way to do this so let's get started uh, as you guys uh, no, and as I showed you, this is the first generation iPod Touch, which is, does not support Apple's native iOS 4 operating system. So, if you guys want wallpaper as your home screen, what you're going to need to do is basically you need to do a few simple steps. First, you have to have a jailbroken iPod, and that's pretty easy to do. You can go on YouTube and find any which way that you want to jailbreak and do that rather quickly. So, once you do that, you want to open up Cydia, and then you want to install. Uh, this app called Winterboard. Now, pretty much everyone knows how to use Winterboard, but yeah, for those people that maybe might be newer to jailbreaking, you just look, go to Cydia, and you hit search and look up Winterboard, spelled like it said, Winterboard. And then once you open it, you have to go to Select Themes, and then you find the option that says User Wallpaper. When you tap that, uh, make sure there's a check next to it. Go back to Winterboard and then hit Respring. It's important that you hit Respring here and not just Respring by like you know resetting it or something because otherwise then that won't get applied. So uh, depending on how fast your iPod is or your iPhone, uh, it'll take a little while to Respring. And then once uh, you finish Respringing, uh, it should come back and then whatever wallpaper that you have for your lock screen, it should appear as your home screen. So uh, you guys just have to be a little bit patient here. My iPod's a little slow. And so you see this wallpaper I have here is the uh, classic uh, water droplet background. And if I unlock my iPod, you'll see that it's now my background for my home screen. Now, there, uh, if you guys know the native iOS 4 operating system, you are able to set two different uh, home screen and lock screen wallpapers, meaning that the one that you have on your home screen doesn't have to be the same as your lock screen and vice versa. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know how to do that right now, but there are other ways that you can do that, but I'm just not sure how to do it, but this is just a simple and easy tutorial. Uh, many of you have asked for this, so that's basically how you do it. And of course, if you want to change your um, your home screen wallpaper, you kind of have to change your lock screen as well. So, say I want to change it to, I don't know, this, this. Alright, so this, you just tap on here and then you hit set as, use as wallpaper. Set wallpaper, just wait for it. And then when you close out, that will be your new home screen wallpaper. Now, if you have a wallpaper that's very bright, you can also go into Winterboard and then you can, oops, I don't have it open anymore, but you can open up Winterboard and when you go to select themes again, there's this option for dim wallpaper. Now, what that does is it does exactly what it sounds like. It dims the wallpaper so that if you have a very bright uh, wallpaper and you have obviously the white text of the icons or you just have or you think it just kind of washes out the look of the icons, you can uh, enable the dim wallpaper option. 
and then everything, the wallpaper is dimmed slightly, and then everything else seems to pop out more. And I'll show you what that looks like uh, once it's three springs. So again, you guys will have to wait for this a little bit. Unlock, and then you see that the icons pop out a little more because the background is now dimmed. So that's how you guys can get a home screen wallpaper on iOS 3. I don't know how to prove this. I guess I can show you guys real quick. But this is not running iOS 4. First generation iPod touches are not capable of running the iOS 4. But just to prove it, uh, going into general, about, and you see right there, 3.1.3. .3. So there you guys go. This is how you can get a simple home screen wallpaper. Hope you enjoy. Uh, remember to rate, comment, and subscribe if you want more videos like this.